artists for this week's art activity, we're gonna be designing our own parades inspired by the story, Balloons Over Broadway, which gives the history of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the puppeteer who designed the original floats and balloons that the parade is known for today. Each Thanksgiving, Macy's puts on a parade in which different floats and balloons travel down the streets of Manhattan, New York. You can watch it in person if you're in the city or on TV for everyone to see at home. We're gonna be using the idea of the floats for the parade as inspiration for our own parade designs. I'm gonna show you how we can make the basic skyline, which is the outlines of the city buildings for New York, and then how you guys can design your own parade floats in the space above. You're gonna have a lot of opportunity to use your own creative ideas when you're designing your floats. You can choose if you wanna make one big float or if you wanna make several of them, and you can decide what you would want your floats to be in the parade. Maybe you want the balloons to be something that you like, maybe your favorite hobby or your favorite food or your favorite animal, or maybe you have a cartoon character or a video game character or a storybook character that you love and you think should definitely be in the parade. We'll go over how we can brainstorm different ideas when we get to that part of the drawing. For this lesson, you're going to wanna to have a white piece of paper, any size will do. We need a pencil to draw and make sure you have an eraser. And for coloring, you have choices. You can use whatever materials you like. If you've got crayons, you can use crayons. If you've got markers, you can use markers. And of course, you could always use colored pencils or you can combine all three. I just used crayons for mine and it was perfectly fine. So let's collect our materials and get ready to start our parade designs. Okay, before you start to draw, you're gonna to wanna to take your white paper and turn it horizontal across. This will make sure that you have enough room to fit the buildings in your skyline and leave you space up above for your balloons. Now, starting with the skyline, we're gonna be making the basic shapes of buildings that you would see in a city, also known as skyscrapers. We're not gonna get into too much detail because a skyline is something you would see far away. And when something is far away, you don't really see too much detail. You just kind of basically see the main shape of the buildings and maybe some windows. Now, we don't wanna start our skyline too high because if we put it too high, we won't have any space above to design our balloons for the parade. So we're gonna come down towards the middle and maybe even a little lower where we start. Now, you guys are drawing with a pencil. I'm drawing with a Sharpie just so you can see. Remember, you should always start with a pencil in case you make a mistake. Now, if you think of skyscrapers or if you've been to New York City, not only are they tall, but they're basically just simple shapes. Most of the time, their outline is kind of like rectangles. Sometimes the roof is a little rounded or a little pointed, so we can kind of put those different lines and shapes together and we can use them to design our buildings. So I'm gonna start here at the edge and I'm gonna make a building first that's almost just a rectangle to begin with. So I'm gonna go across and straight down. Now the buildings in a skyline, especially in a city skyline, are close together. So I'm gonna start the next one touching the first one. Maybe this building, I want it to be a little bit different. Maybe I make it a little taller with a pointed top. And I come back down. Maybe the next one, I come around, make this one a curved building. Maybe I play around with the next one, flat top. I'm just using basic lines and shapes to design my own buildings. You could always look up some buildings if you wanted to. In case you wanted to do some very specific shapes, it's up to you. Make this one thinner. I'll make this one a little bit wider all the way across. Now that you have the basic shapes of your city skyline buildings, we can go back and we can use different shapes to add windows. So I'll just make these rectangles and I can spread them out. Maybe this one has squares. I can even make the lines so it looks like it's reflecting the light. 
I don't have to go all the way down with my windows. I could make this one a half a circle. Maybe the rest of them are circles. You could play around with your windows and your shapes. It's up to you. And I would keep going until I had windows all the way across. Finish up my last one. And there we go. Buildings and windows. Now that I have my skyline done, I'm going to make in the space above my balloons for my parade. So before you begin, you have to decide how many balloons do you want? Do you wanna make just one big balloon in your parade? Or do you wanna make several different balloons in your parade? If you're gonna make several balloons, you should start over by the edge of your paper and leave room for the next few that you draw. If you're only gonna make one big one, you should draw in the center and you should make it the biggest part of the sky. Now, the types of balloons you make are up to you. This lesson lets you be super creative. So you could think if you were in charge of making the Thanksgiving Day Parade and you got to pick what types of balloons were in the parade, what balloons would you make? Maybe you have a favorite athlete or a favorite singer or a favorite actor or actress or you have a favorite comic book character or a storybook character or cartoon character like SpongeBob or Mickey Mouse that you would absolutely want to put in your parade. Or maybe you would make a balloon that is your favorite food. Maybe you love ice cream and you wanna have an ice cream cone balloon. Or maybe you love sports and you wanna have a basketball balloon. It's up to you. You gotta kinda of brainstorm what balloons you would put in the parade if you were in charge. Now, if it's something like a specific character that you don't know how to draw, you guys have your computer in front of you, you could always Google pictures of that character or how to draw Mickey or how to draw SpongeBob, how to draw Minnie Mouse, things like that. And you could find drawing lessons that would help you if you needed it. So if it's something that you're not sure how to draw, you could always kind of research it a little bit online and find a picture that you need. Once you have your idea of what you want to make, then you're gonna draw your balloon in the space up above. Because if you ever saw the Thanksgiving Day Parade, you know that the buildings are below and the balloons are super high and they float above the buildings and everybody watches them from down below. So let's see. I think for my balloon, I'm gonna make a paint palette because I love art, of course. So maybe I make a paintbrush. Maybe I make some paint. Maybe I make a paint palette behind it as part of this balloon. with the little paint splatters. Right, maybe I make a ice cream cone. Remember, you could make one balloon or you could make a couple of them. It's up to you. Lots of possibilities for this project. It lets you be super creative with your balloon ideas. You could always look them up if you need to. Put a little cherry on top and some hot fudge. And maybe over here, I just make a balloon, a nice sun with some sunglasses, a happy balloon. It'll make everyone smile. 
when it comes down the street in the parade. Once you have your balloon or several balloons drawn, the most important part is you make the strings attached to the balloon. Otherwise, they're just gonna float away. Now, our strings are gonna stop when they touch the buildings because they're gonna be behind the skyline. So I'm gonna make the strings come down, stop when I hit the building. You're probably gonna need a couple of strings for each balloon. If you ever happen to see the parade, you'll know that each balloon has lots of strings and lots of people holding them to stop them from floating away. So you're gonna wanna put a few for each of your balloons. And there you have your drawing of your New York City skyline and the balloons over Broadway, whatever balloons you want in your parade. Once you have your balloons and your skyline drawn, you can take your markers or your crayons and your color pencils and you can color in your picture. Here's my example from the beginning. This one I did three balloons too. I did the paint palette. I did pizza because it's one of my favorite foods. And I did a nice little happy pig because I thought it would be a fun little animal to add to the parade. If remember, it doesn't have to be more than one balloon. You can do just one big one in the sky and you can choose to make it whatever you want. You could also even look up pictures if you need ideas of specific cartoon characters. Maybe you wanna make SpongeBob. Maybe you wanna make Goofy. Maybe you've got a special comic book or superhero character that you wanna make. If you wanna look up images while you're drawing, of course you can do that to help you out. When you are coloring, you choose what you wanna use. Just make sure you color in neatly and completely. Take your time with your work. Get super creative with your balloon and parade designs. Remember, you are in charge of your parade, so you decide what type of balloons you want in it. Good luck with your work, and I can't see, wait to see what it looks like when they're done.